If you make it yourself, it's gonna be like three to four times cheaper. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ultra Running Underdogs. Today we're gonna to talk about alternatives to your favorite electrolyte drink mixes such as Tailwind. Tailwind's my favorite if I had to pay money for, an, for a product and if you wanna save a little bit of money, you can actually make it yourself. So let's get right to it. On the Nutrition Facts label, you'll see that a serving of Tailwind is 100 calories, 27 grams of in a scoop, and your, your main ingredients that you're worried about are going to be sodium, potassium, and basically how many carbs are in there. So let's get to it. You want to substitute dextrose, which is glucose. So you could either use a product like maltodextrin or dextrose, which is made from corn. You can find those easily on Amazon or probably at a local store if you're lucky. Um, you can also add table sugar. So this is dirt cheap. It has fructose in it, which is kind of bad for your liver in large quantities. So we're, we're gonna mix it half and half with glucose. And what else does Tailwind have in it? Sodium citrate, I have that. It's actually not that expensive. Table salt, sea salt, potassium chloride. You can use light salt, which is found at your local grocery store. And we're going to ignore magnesium and calcium. You can buy those and add those in in small quantities if you'd like. So let's measure it out. I'm gonna go with maltodextrin today just because I heard that it can help fuel you a little bit longer. So let's turn on the scale here. I like to put it in gram setting just for a little extra precision. So I'm gonna measure out 100 grams of this and I'm probably gonna make a mess because this container is really big. Yeah, I'm getting it everywhere. 100 grams of maltodextrin. All right, now we want 100 grams of table sugar. Sugar is heavy. By the way, this is for eight servings. So if you wanna make more than eight servings, just multiply it by two or three, and then you can get however much you need. So we want to get 2,400 milligrams of sodium and 700 milligrams of potassium for eight servings. So I'm going to mix about half sodium citrate and half table salt. I didn't quite do the math beforehand, but it's easy enough. We'll put it up on the screen for you to figure it out. So let's measure that out. It's helpful to have a little quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon thing to measure out precise amounts of this smaller quantities. I'm gonna measure out three quarters of a teaspoon of sodium citrate. So I got, I'm gonna do three quarter teaspoons. And I guess you're gonna to wanna to try to make those flat. And, I, and you could also add those directly to the bowl. I don't know why I'm measuring them out. but So I got three quarter teaspoons of sodium citrate. And we wanna do half teaspoon of light salt. So I actually have a half teaspoon on this side. Got a half teaspoon of light salt, and we're gonna do half teaspoon of sea salt. Whoa, a little bit extra, because I'm a salty guy. Okay guys, it's really that simple. You're gonna wanna add some flavoring probably, because this isn't gonna be the best tasting thing. So I found this at the grocery store. It's called True Lime. They also sell True Lemon. I think lemon might even be better, but I don't have it here for the visual aid. So toss that in. I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can measure out to taste. I'd guess you probably want a couple teaspoons in there at least. All right, so you're gonna shake it up. You can use a whisk to get it nice and spread in there. And then you're gonna put it into some other container that's not a bowl, maybe a Ziploc bag or um, I actually found this squeeze bottle online. I think it's the best way to take it with you on a run because you can toss that in your, in your stretchy running vest and you're good to go. So, all right, let's try it. This is gonna be hard to do. You could probably get it everywhere, but 
hey, you're still saving money. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a disaster. You, sh you should fast forward this part. Can you put it like 3x speed? It'll be funny. Go, go, go. Ah, uh, come on. My weird facial expressions. Okay, there we go. Screw that cap on. Grab your liter of water and you're ready to hit the trail. <laughs> oh, um, so this is eight servings. Luckily this one has lines on the side so I can kind of tell how much I've used. But I want to put two servings and a liter here. I probably wouldn't take this on a run. It's a little bulky, but shake it up. You're ready to go. So guys, once again, that's how you make your own alternative to what's you know popular out there. I've used this before. It's not that expensive. Like I said, it's what, like 70 or 80 cents per serving. But if you want to go cheap and make your own and custom tailor it to your sodium needs, this is the way to go, I think. So Mike and I have been using this out in the field. We did a PCT through hike in three days, which was something like 70 miles, I think. And it got us pretty far. When we were feeling down, this totally was the pick me up we needed. So yeah, I think give it a shot. I'll send you the links in the video description. By the way, these might be affiliate links, but it doesn't cost you anything and it helps out our channel. So thank you very much. If you like this video, hit subscribe and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>